Uh, let's now look into loss of algebra offsets. It's, uh, some important loss so dealing with set operations and we begin with uh, uh, what's called idempotent loss. And, uh, even though the wording may seem, may seem quite confusing, the idea is uh, very quite no, very simple. And so, uh, given a particular set uh, U, the union of that set with itself gives the set itself, uh, that, uh, that's also the case with intersection. That's A union A is A and also A intersection A is A. Uh, uh, representing it in a set builder form, uh, A union A that's X is such that X is an element of A or X. Now, the point why uh, it's written O is that uh, we are dealing with union, so you have to uh, choose between two sets. And uh, on, on my on my question, why we can't write it as a one or a two? That's so a one union a two to differentiate it. The po point here is that we are taking the set. Uh, uh, that uh, there are two reasons for it. One is that we are taking that particular set itself. We are not taking any other set. And uh, if you are denoting it a two, uh, it's uh, it, it, it also indicates that there could be distant elements, there could be elements whose character is different from that of the other set, which is not the case here. That's why it's not denoted as A or no A2. So, a, X is an element of A or X is an element of So, it simply means that uh, for either cases, X is coming up as a common element. So, it simply means, uh, it, it, it implies that X is such that X is an element of A. That's uh, Surely we are referring to the same set. That's also the case with A intersection A where X is, so you, you know, not that uh, uh, here instead of or we are writing and because it's intersection and intersection uh, refers to a common element. So X is an element of A and X is an element of A. So once again, uh, both the cases are the arbitrary element is the same. That means X is such that X is an element of A. So you get you get that set itself. That's that's the meaning of uh, as a result of uh, item potent loss. Going on to identity loss, uh, uh, it simply means that uh, when you when you combine a particular given set with null set, you get the same set. Uh, nothing nothing great. Uh, nothing uh, um, very tough in it. Null set doesn't contain any elements. So if you if you join null set with any set. The elements of the of the new set ought to be the elements of the of the set which combine with the null set. So I think nothing uh, unusual in it. And a intersection U that is the uh, that's the intersection of a given set with the universal set gives that set because uh, uh, I mean the common elements uh, as the universal set contains all the elements including uh, the elements of A. If you separate it out, the commonality of the elements is that. Uh, we can choose only the elements which are present in A, A, and not any other element. So that's, that's, that's the meaning of it. So when you uh, write it in the set builder form, it's um, uh, A union uh, phi or null set uh, gives uh, X is an element of A or X is an element of uh, uh, the null set. We know that uh, if uh, here, once again, it's a union, and so we are writing or. And another point here is that if you write and, it will create a problem because uh, null set doesn't contain any element. So the result is that x is such that x is an element of uh, a, and once again you get the same set. And for a intersection u, x is such that x is an element of a, a and uh, x is an element of u. So naturally, uh, in this case, we are dealing with intersection, hence and is used. And in this particular case, the elements are called ought to be common. So x is just that x is an element of a and a, and you get again get the same set. So an interesting point to note is that for uh, for both uh, the item potent and identity loss you are getting the same set. The third third one is uh, what is called uh, the commutative loss and uh, in commutative uh, loss it simply means a union b uh, is equal to B union A and A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. 
Uh, so in a manner we can call that uh, the union and intersection are commutative. Uh, looking at the uh, particular proofs, uh, now x is an element of a union b. What does it mean? Uh, it means uh, the uh, I mean when you are joining two particular given sets a and b, you have the common element x, which simply means that implies that x is uh, not only an element of a but it's also an element of b. Oh, so either case, but uh, here the problem is that there could be elements which are not present on either of the sets. So you're using or. So uh, it simply implies that uh, X should be an element of uh, B union A. And uh, that means A union B is a subset of B union A. The same uh, you know, steps can be or, 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 or uh, theoretical uh, for uh, or, the, or, or the the same steps so the same uh, idea can be used with the other way around that is uh, for x is a new x is an element of b union a and we will end up with a b union a is a subset of a union b and an important point is that if a is a subset of b and if b is also a subset of a it simply means that the elements of A and B are common, which simply means that A is equal to B. So you, you end up with the result that A union B is equal to B union A. <clears throat> and uh, as far as the associative laws are concerned, uh, simply means that the first operation that's A union B union C gives uh, is, 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 is equal to A union with the union of B union C and also uh, A intersection B uh, is when, when intersection with C is equal to A intersection of B intersection C. Uh, it simply implies that union and intersection associate. One point I want to note out is that I, I want to point out is that those, those proofs which are uh, which are not uh, <coughs> Included in, in in this particular video or, uh, would be would be presented uh, elsewhere in the problem or analysis uh, sections. And uh, coming to the uh, last of last of this particular loss, what is called the distributive loss, uh, considering uh, three given sets A, B, and C, A union. Uh, a union, uh, so sorry, it's uh, it's actually uh, so uh, here we have a, a small change that so uh, it it is B intersection C, uh, so A union uh, B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C and A intersection uh, B union C is equal to A intersection B union a intersection C. Uh, the proofs of all, all, all these operations would be provided in uh, other sections of the of, of the chapters itself in, in uh, Maxmat. So thank you.